Hey Pisces, hope you're all doing great. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-August to the end of August 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And of course it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs if you want, one of your person signs, or you can get a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you are cross-watching or watching for yourself. All right, and that's because it is a general reading. All right, so let's see, Pisces, what is going on for you? Second half of August. All right, so the overall energy for you is tribe. All right, so elephants here, if that... Um, is a symbol for anybody or a sign for anybody. This is all about um, the way it's coming in is family, all right? Some focus on family, something happening with family. In some way, this relates to a, to a love connection here, or it is really feeling like somebody that you are connected with is part of your tribe, all right? Part of your soul family. Let's... Let's get into this and see, all right? That could be you, could be your person. Could be the both of you. It's coming in with like a sense of belongingness. But we'll see. All right, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of August. All right, so in your energy, we have the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Magician. Pisces, what is happening here? There's a lot of conflict, possibly with family, or just feeling um, like that sense of belongingness is like shaky at the moment. I feel like there is some kind of a deceit that is happening here. Maybe somebody is deceiving you or maybe you are feeling like you're, it's coming in like you're feeling like you're at a loss. Um, possibly like either you have deceived the situation, you have deceived yourself in some way or someone has deceived you, maybe even both. And because of that, you're feeling like you are at a loss. Um, almost coming in like maybe you thought it, it was you thought you were manifesting something or you thought something was being manifested, but it it's um, something just didn't work out in the way that you that you had expected here. Um, let's we'll see more when we clarify. Let's see what's going on with your person. We have the three of cups, the king of pentacles and the tower. I feel like this person um, either wanted a reconciliation and now it almost feels like that's not the case anymore for some of you. Um, they wanted the stability, they wanted this commitment with you and I feel like, you know, either, or they're feeling like this just isn't possible for whatever reason, almost like that dream has been destroyed. Again, roles can definitely be reversed, okay? Like, I, I think I keep saying this for Pisces. I feel like we have a lot of cross-watchers um, for the Pisces reading. All right, so the message for you, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Moon, and Temperance. All right, well, here's your element showing up here. and I, So I feel like this is all about you really beginning to um, work on your own sense of self-worth. You be becoming a little bit more grounded and more um, in a space of reality when it comes to who is it that is in your tribe and who is it that is not? Who is it that belongs in your tribe and who is it that is not? I feel like there's this realization of where it is that you belong. Um, because I feel like there has been a lot of conflict here and possibly, you know, just some, some deception that has happened. And by you really 
having that sense of self-worth and realizing where it is that you belong or who is it that belongs in your life, that is what is bringing you a sense of balance and a sense of peace and harmony. Really conquering some of your fears here. And I feel like that is what is coming up for you and I feel like that is also the guidance for you. Um, let's get into this. Let's clarify. Feels a little complicated. Alright, let's see. Five of Wands. Alright, so we have the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's some, uh, this could even be your own energy, where you're just a little bit conflicted within your own self. I do also feel like this, there's other people involved or you have involved other people in this situation in one way or another. And this has proved to be challenging because I feel like, I feel like these, whoever these people were that you may have gotten involved in this situation, um, it's coming with some immature energy here. Um, almost like other people just getting into your business more than they should or, or you allowing them to do that or you having gotten them involved in a way where I feel like it just created more difficulty for you. And I'm not saying that necessarily it's your fault here. You know, sometimes, you know, we just, we're involved with people. It could be from work. It could be in the, in your home environment. It could be um, family, relatives. It could be anything. Let me see the five of swords. But I just feel like there's been more people involved than should have been in this connection in some way. Um, at least recently or coming up, great. Right? So because timelines can be a little bit different, they can vary. So we have the Nine of Swords, the Hanged Man, and Temperance showing up again for the Five of Swords. Whatever this deceit was, and again, it's not very clear to me whether it was you who deceived or you know was just kind of like self-sabotaging this connection or whether it is these other people or this person um, I don't I don't necessarily feel like it's this other person at all actually I feel like this was something that was just happening with you and other people that kind of just created a, a lot of difficulty created a lot of stress for you it it just didn't it, it really threw your sense of peace out of balance and it also kept you back like I said, like feeling defeated. Let me see the magician. The Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Wands. What are you trying to do here, Pisces? I feel like you're trying to manifest some kind of um, independence for your own self, but at the same time, there's there's somebody that you want in your life. Um, and it's coming in like, you know, on the one hand, you you want this, right? You want You want this love or you want this person either to come in or for you to take action towards them. But at the same time, 
you also want to have a sense of independence, possibly even an independence from whatever this other situation was that was going on here, that sabotage that was happening, that was involving other people. I feel like you're trying to manifest that independence from that, possibly even um, increasing your sense of self-worth, as I said down here as well for the message for you, in order for this love to be a potential and to be able to come into your reality. All right, so let's see for this person here. Let's see, let's see the Three of Cups. All right, we have the Emperor and we have Strength. All right, this person is really um, focused on overcoming whatever this um, challenge was with you. I feel like this person is putting their just their best foot forward. I feel like there has been a lot that this person has endured just overall and in general. Um, and I feel like they're really just trying to take control of their life and finding some kind of happiness. Maybe they are trying to socialize. I do feel like this person still wants, a part of them might still want this connection with you. but they just don't think that it's going to that it's going to happen because of whatever this issue is up here that we were talking about and i feel like yeah you know this person um had to go through a lot in order to find that strength to just really stand in their own power and be able to to enjoy their life um let me see the King of Pentacles. To get to a place of just feeling light, because I feel like they may have been sucked into drama, this drama with you here, and so they worked on coming out of that. All right, so for the King of Pentacles, we have the Hermit and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you know, okay, so maybe some of you are dealing with a with an earth sign, for example. I do feel like this person is somebody who, <laughs> Virgo showing up here, all right, um, as well as the king of pentacles. So I feel like this person is somebody who is very stable. This is somebody who does want commitment. I feel like they do want this commitment with you. Still, at least to some extent. However, I feel like this person is also following their intuition even though they still have emotions for you and they're keeping their distance at the moment. And again, I feel like it has taken a lot of work for this person to move away. Um, but that doesn't mean that they don't still have emotions for you, all right? I do see the love here. And I do see this person as really being um, grounded here. I also love the fact that we have the King of Pentacles as well as the Queen of Pentacles, which is showing me that it is, um, it is a match. I mean, this could, there's definitely the potential here. Let's see the tower. I definitely feel like the roles are going to be reversed for a lot of you if you're not cross-watching because usually the viewers tend to be in this type of an energy and the other person tends to be in the energy um, that Pisces is in. But of course, could go either way, all right? Take the messages as they resonate. So clarifying the tower, we have the Knight of Swords, the Empress, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, again, this person has taken some kind of an action to really work on their own self and to really find their own sense of empowerment because there was something that was very um, dissatisfactory here, all right, with this whole, I feel like it's drama, basically, that was going on involving a lot of other people. So that could also be tribes. Again, it could be... Um, just various people that were brought into this or affecting the connection. I do also get that this person just feels like, you know what, um, this is a missed opportunity. Like, you know, the, this just, 
they're, they're feeling like there is a shift. They're feeling like there is a shift within themselves and within the connection towards feeling like it's just not going to happen even though this is something that they wanted and again the emotions are still there i still feel like this person would be open to this if this issue up here could be resolved all right because um, i also see some disappointment there's disappointment in the fact that there's this tower that there is that th that this idea of this connection is just kind of it's been destroyed there's disappointment with that All right, so let's see the message here. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, this is a message for you to, you know, if you're feeling like you are alone in this, if you're feeling like you're just abandoned or that, you know, um, feeling like a victim of whatever this sabotage or this deception was, even if it was you, I'm doing it because sometimes we can feel like we are a victim of our own doing right or of our own self um, this is about you really working on on your self-worth and stepping into that energy of you know what no I'm not going to be the victim in this getting out of that victim mentality all right so I do see you coming out of that let's see the moon The two of wands yeah so i feel like actually here with the moon especially this being your element here um this is you beginning to get your power back a little bit you might still be um planning it but you're seeing that potential here with the two of wands you're being able to see how okay you know what maybe a lot of this does come from within me and i am the one who can change this I'm the one who can take control over this, and I'm control of me, not other people. Or not, not, it's not other people who are in control of me, it's me who is control of me. That's what I see you moving towards here, which is bringing you some kind of balance with temperance and healing from that situation. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. So I feel like once you find that balance, that is when you can cut out that drama. Cut out that drama and see things more clearly. All right, that's going to come with this healing, and I do see that um, in the in the future here for you. All right, Pisces. If this resonated, let's get the final message for you. Alright, so we actually got to, we have Meditate and Contemplate, the new moon in Pisces. Alright, so yeah, and I do feel like that's also actually related to this moon card, Med meditating, contemplating, getting in touch with your own intuition. Alright, and coming to that state of peace. And the new moon in Gemini, communication is key. So figuring out what it is that you need to communicate. either to this person or to whoever this other crowd over here is. So Pisces, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.